Hello there, Eddie Mercado here with BloodyElbow.com, and I'm about to speak with the 11-1 featherweight prospect Arnold Allen, as he is set to take on Makwan Amir Khani at UFC Fight Night 107 in London. So let's give Arnold a call and find out what he's been up to since his last fight, find out what he has in store for London, England, and his thoughts on fellow prospect Amir Khani. Uh, Mr. Arnold Allen, how are you, sir? Good, yourself? I'm doing well, I'm doing well. Thank you so much for taking out the time. I know you're in fight camp. Fight's right around the corner, yeah. so I, I really appreciate you uh, setting some time aside. Now, no problem at all. man, you're only 23 years old and top of the world right now. 11-1 overall, 2-0 yeah. in the UFC, uh, coming off back-to-back -back wins. Headed to another home game at the O2 Arena, taking on a fellow yeah. a fellow featherweight prospect in Makwan Amir Khani. How are things? Mm -hmm. Everything's good. I had a really good camp, you know, like all the boring stuff. Everything's well. My weight's good, all that. You know, I'm fit, ready to rumble. I like it. I like it. Now, it's been a, a little over a year yeah. since uh, we last saw you in the cage. What have you been doing uh, during yeah. that layoff? Uh... I was booked to fight earlier in the year, I think October, but I, I was I was messed up. I was all ill and uh, I was sick and I was out of the gym for months. I had to, had to take some time to get healthy. And uh, yeah, other than that, obviously I was preparing for a fight out at TriStar for, for a long time. So other than the time I was sick, I've just been making making big improvements. And I basically spent a lot of that time prepping for a fight and until now uh, getting another fight, you know what I mean? So. Yeah, it's like I've been in camp for like a whole year. So. Yeah. Okay. Now, yeah. your nickname mm -hmm. Almighty, where does that come from? It flows. It has a nice little ring to it. Uh, who gave it to you? <laughs> um, I, I had a friend who was a sponsor before. He had a company called Almighty Fightwear. And he was just like, he approached me. He said, oh, you know, Almighty would be a good nickname. I'm like, Arnold Almighty Allen sounds good. He just, I was like, yeah, it does sound good. He was like, how about we sponsor you for your next fight? I was like, okay, yeah. <laughs> it sounds, yeah, that's how that happened. <laughs> okay, kind of unique. I like it. I like it. And like yeah. I said, it definitely flows. It definitely flows. Yeah. Now, your UFC yeah. debut, it came on one week's notice. You're 21 years old. You had to fly yeah. to Berlin for it. And uh, and you put on. You showed up. You um, yeah. It didn't seem like you had any jitters or any of that. I mean, you came right out of the gate swinging, standing in the pocket. Um, did yeah. you have any nerves for your for your first go? Yeah, of course, sort of like the, the the normal jits, you know, it's more like uh like excitement, you know what I mean? Like you, you can't wait to get going, can't wait to get in there and get started. That's yeah, more more that more excitement than nerves. Yeah. Okay, and, and yeah, you got a third round guillotine choke, um pretty smooth. It was almost like a ninja choke. Yeah. And you kind of stopped the fight on your own. It looked like he was tapping out, the ref couldn't see it, so you kinda let go and yeah. called the fight and was like, This is done. <laughs> that was a that was a mistake on my half. To be fair, I shouldn't have I shouldn't have let go. But yeah, I mean, I, felt I was so excited. I was just like, ah. <laughs> honestly, I I thought it was stand up of you. I I like to see good sportsmanship. I mean, the yeah. guy was dead to rights, and of course, we've seen in the past where guys will be like, oh, I didn't tap, I didn't tap, but in the long yeah, run, that yeah, just exactly. makes them look bad. You know what I mean? So yeah. I mean, yeah. I thought it was cool, man. I I like to see things like that. You know the good sportsmanship mm -hmm. or whatnot, yes. but um, yeah. your second uh, performance. I mean, you got you got right in there. Yatsin Meza, who is uh, a veteran. I mean, he had like thirty fights yeah. coming in, and he honestly he seemed to step behind the entire fight. Uh, how how'd you feel in your uh, second appearance? That was the most comfortable I've felt in, in any fight I've had. You know, it was my first camp at TriStar. And uh, I felt so confident, like with my team, the advice they were giving me, the preparation. It was, it was perfect. And uh, yeah, I, I felt like, honestly, I felt like I could, I could have pushed the pace and stopped it whenever I wanted. But you know, I was, I was, I was happy. I was having fun. You know? Yeah, and I mean, it, like you said, it looks like that's what exactly what happened at the end of the mm -hmm. fight. You, you push the pace, you put it on them, 
and it yeah. looked like you knocked him out like in the in the final seconds. <laughs> that that could have been that could have been a, a, a knockout stoppage. Do you, yeah, do you yeah. think it should have been, or or was it a decision? I, I thought it was. I mean, I, I jumped on top of the cage and everything, and I thought, I mean, how embarrassing! I jumped on top of the cage for a, for a decision winner. <laughs> and then, yeah, but it is what it is. Yeah. yeah, it was fun though. I mean, it was definitely exciting. Um, mm. But yeah, like we were saying, Mesa came in with with thirty plus fights. But mm. I mean, you're a second generation fighter, right? You're kind of bred for this, so to speak. Yeah, yeah. I know what we mean. Yeah, new school, I guess. Yeah. The, the new school. <laughs> yeah. uh, your your father was a fighter, from what I hear, right? Yeah, he had a few. Uh, he had a few fights, like uh, some crazy fights out there on YouTube. Like it was insane, <laughs> insane. Do you, rules. do you still train with him or is it strictly uh, TriStar now? He, I'm, I'm, I'm at TriStar now. Well, not, not just my camps. I'm here like a, a bit more than my camps, you know, but uh, like I, I spent most of the last year, I spent most of 2016 here. I really I went home when I was sick and I spent about three months back home getting healthy again. And yeah, so most of my time is here. But yeah. What do you so think of the weather over there in Canada? Oh, man, it's crazy. It's like one day it's like Boy, right now it's plus ten, and for Saturday it's minus thirteen. I'm just like, <laughs> I just can't get used to it. I just like, do I need a big coat? Do I need a little coat? <laughs> yeah, the weather yeah. can be a little bipolar here in the uh, yeah. Western Hemisphere. I, yeah, yeah, I, I yeah. don't have any answers for it. I mean, it is what it is, right? But, uh, <laughs> yeah. So right now you're getting a uh, another home game, O2 yeah. Arena. This time, uh, a fellow prospect, Mach One Amir Khani. Um, I mean, he's he's got a whole bunch of hype behind him. Thirteen and two yeah. overall, three and zero, oh, nine subs to his credit. Um, mm. What do you what do you think of the guy? What do you think of the stylistic matchup? Uh, yeah, he's good. He's got skills, obviously. You know, his record speaks for itself. He's got wins. He's what is he three and zero oh in the UFC? He comes from a top camp too, so I'm excited for the challenge for the test. So yeah, it's gonna it's gonna be fun. It's gonna be good. What do you think of his wrestling? He was um, a Finnish wrestling champion. Um, you think he's going to try to come out and grind you out? Yeah, well, he's a. Uh, I, I, I don't know. I don't know. I think he's going to try everything. You know, he's going to he's going to come in fast pace. He's going to try and knock me out. He's going to try and grind me out. He's going to try and he's going to try and do everything. So yeah, I'm I'm, I'm sure of that. Yeah, he is somewhat imp- unpredictable when he when he's in there. Hmm. Um, is there yeah. anything like specific you're kind of keeping an eye on? Just the whole lot. Just keeping an eye on the, the winning. I just want to win. <laughs> I do. Ain't giving too much away. <laughs> hey, absolutely. I respect, respect. Mm. Now, um, how's your training camp going for this? It's been really good. Like, I don't want to jinx myself. So I'm gonna touch wood. Got no injuries so far. Like, everything's everything's really good. My weight's, uh, you know, I've been able to keep out of the Dunkin' Donuts and Tim Hortons and all that. <laughs> The weight's good. I'm not fat, so yeah, we're on track for an easy cut by the looks of things. Okay, now who are some of the guys you're training with out there? Uh, I've been doing a lot of, a lot of rounds of the, the South Pole guys here. There's uh, Louis Sanadaki, who's one of the guys. He's not very, uh, he's not known yet, but he should be real soon. Like he's a, like a top prospect. He's really good, man. He's 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 been really helping me like really well. Uh, I've been doing a lot of rounds of Oli Albin Mercier. He's been a uh, a big lightweight, but he's a, a strong guy shooting and wrestling and hard pace for some hard punches and kicks. So yeah, and there's there's a lot of southpaws out here. To be fair, there's too many, too many to name the guys that have been working for this. It's it's great though. It's great to have all these southpaws in the camps. So not many camps have have a lot of southpaws. So. Yeah, and you're a southpaw yourself, and I yeah. noticed like you really like to throw the check hook, like the short hooks. Yeah. Um, you have a real diligent right hand. I gotta ask, are you right handed? No, 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 I'm left handed. Left handed. Okay. Yeah. Natural. Oh yeah. Yeah, okay. I just uh, I just got used to using that looking hook a lot. I had a bit of success with it, like when I was uh, when I was boxing as like a teenager, a kid. I was I I'd throw it a lot, so yeah, yeah it worked. Yeah, I used it, so it worked. <laughs> All right. Now, well, how do you see the fight playing out? Uh, you think it's gonna go the distance, an early finish? I don't know. I, I'm not looking for an early finish or anything. I'm, 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 but I just know I'm going to be victorious. That's that's how I see it going out. Uh, I dig it. Well, you got any uh, sponsors or people you want to give a shout out to? Uh, yeah, Rev Gear hooked me up. 
we loads of we loads of gear, so let's uh I'd like to shout them out. Thanks for Rev Gear for that. Uh my friend Renel, he's back home, hooked me up with his haircuts, give me some cash to help the camp, that's really good. Yeah. Uh, but I'm looking for more sponsors always. Living away from home is expensive. <laughs> oh yeah, absolutely, yeah. absolutely. Uh, yeah. What are your uh, social media outlets? How can people follow you along on your journey? On, on all like uh, Twitter, Instagram, it's, it's Arnold BFA, which was a uh, used to be the babyface assassin, which some people were calling me when I was when I was fighting when I was like 15, 16. but I, I just never changed it really. But yeah, and, uh, Facebook page Arnold Almighty Allen. Uh, all right, now here's the question. Here's the big question. Okay. Obviously, you're from London, England. Now you're yeah. training at TriStar in Canada. Mm. Michael oh, Bisbing setting up for GSP. Who takes it? Okay. Who takes it? Well, you don't want to ever go against your, your countrymen. I know I don't want to get bad for all this, but all I'm going to say is Bisbing has never bought me lunch. GSP is taking me to some expensive restaurants for lunch. And it took me takes me out for lunch. Maybe I'll be on his side. <laughs> GSP has took me to some nice restaurants and bought me lunch, so I'm gonna have to go with GSP. That is the best answer ever. <laughs> awesome, <laughs> awesome. Well, Arnold Allen, thank you so much. Thank you so much for taking out the time, man. Huge fight in your hands. No problem, man. Mac Wanamir Connie, UFC Fight Night 107, March 18th. Best of luck to you, sir. Thanks. Thanks a lot. Yes, sir. Take care. And you, man. I'll see you. So there you have it. UFC featherweight prospect Arnold Allen set to take on Makwan Amir Khani at UFC Fight Night 107 in London, England. Go check that out on March 18th. In the meantime, you can read me over at bloodyelbow.com. You can follow me on Twitter at the Eddie Mercado. If you like this interview, subscribe to my channel right here. Subscribe to Bloody Elbow's YouTube channel right here. Check out these interviews. Go be a good person.